Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to turn this bite and fight Tyrannosaurus Rex into the Chaos Effects Bull T-Rex. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Um, just so you guys know, if you guys haven't done so, hit the subscribe button guys. Let's get this channel up in subscribers. I appreciate that. Um, there is a lot of repaints in these videos or this channel. So if you guys like repaints of toys or even paints of any kind, I will be doing other different uh, paints, paint jobs or paint anything, portraits, whatever. You guys will see it on this channel. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's a lot more stuff. There's a lot more in my plate so you guys can check out. Um, thank you if you guys do subscribe. Um, anyways, uh, on to the repaints. Well, today I'm gonna do the Bull T Rex, the Chaos Effect Theory. Been wanting to paint this guy for a long, long, long time. I just haven't had the dinosaur or the money to buy the dinosaur I wanted to do it with. Um, found this guy on sale, and these are the paints I'm gonna be using. Okay, so he's completely orange now. In the spots where he's supposed to be. Look who's behind here. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen those repaints, go check them out. Uh, I'll put a link down below. You can check out my channel list and video list and you guys can check them out there. But um, as far as the head goes, um, I mixed this barn red and this violet pansy. <laughs> Uh, together to make the purple that I need which looks like that um, And then now I'm gonna paint the purple spots. I'm not gonna paint them perfectly fine or perfectly the way they are the shape um, Because then I'm gonna go over with the black and then put in the detail with the black like I did the other repaints If you guys haven't seen like I said the other repaints of these uh, Go check it out. Usually I put like a whole blue and then with the black I cover everything that I don't want in blue um, so that's what I'm gonna do on this one. So without any further ado, let's get right into that. So luckily these two colors made the exact color that I needed for the dinosaur, or at least it looks like on the paintings that I'm um, referencing this paint to. Um, the pictures that I saw online had the same color, so this is what I went with. Um, I know most of my paint jobs I don't show you guys what colors I use. Um, a lot of you guys ask me the same things, what colors am I using, so I decided to show you guys exactly what colors I'm using. So, um, for the blue, let me show you what color I'm using. Okay, so purple's in. Like I said, I just put the colors where uh, the purple is supposed to be, and then later on I'll go back with it with the black, and then I'll, I'll make the little little design that it actually has. And this thing so I'll just wait for this thing to dry uh, for now I'm gonna do blue and this is the blue I'm gonna use cobalt blue so um, if you guys are following along at in home at home <laughs> uh, there you go I'm gonna use uh, cobalt blue for all the blue so let's do that now all right so the blue um, it looks more vibrant um, in, in person than it does in this video for some reason this blue it looks a lot more vibrant it looks a lot lighter than it does on the video so um, I've noticed this while I was editing the video <laughs> so anyways uh, yeah so I had to just paint everything blue uh, this is one of my second favorite dinosaurs that are out there that I wanted to collect as a kid and so I just decided to paint it. Um, my Target had this dinosaur for $15. So it was on sale for $15. I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. $15. And this is this guy is a little bit bigger than the other repaint that I made of the Chaos Effect the original dinosaur, uh, which is green and blue and all kinds of crazy colors. The, the first one I did, if you guys haven't seen that, go back on my timeline and you guys can watch it. Um, I did that one. I, I'm thinking that's the female. From what I read, that's the female, and this is a male. That's why they call it the bull, and it's a lot bigger than the other one. 
<clears throat> and that's why I wanted to use this particular dinosaur. I wanted to use a bigger dinosaur because I had another dinosaur that was the same size as the original one, but um, on the toys, the the bull T-Rex was always bigger than the female T-Rex, so that's why I had to wait until I got a proper size dinosaur. And luckily, thank God that I found this one for sale for $15, like I said. I'm pretty excited about the $15, that's why I keep repeating it. <laughs> But anyways, so I was like, yeah, jackpot. So um, now I got a dinosaur I could do bull T-Rex with. And so that's why I started doing this one. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see me do other dinosaurs, I am going to do other dinosaurs, by the way. But if you guys want to see any dinosaurs in particular, let me know what dinosaurs you guys want to see me repaint. I know a while back you guys told me that you guys wanted to see, oh, somebody told me that they wanted me to to paint the the old school um, the cub t-rex or whatever um, I couldn't find the cub t-rex so in order for me to paint him I had to find him so I couldn't find him so that's why I haven't done you know the t-rex uh, young t-rex so as soon as I find it I will I will paint that guy but um, there is one more chaos effect um, dinosaur that I want to paint and as soon as I find him, <laughs> I will paint him. Um, the, the dinosaurs that I want to paint, they're always hard to find. Especially at my target. It, it, you can't really find anything in my target. I have to go miles away in order to find the stuff that I really want. But I really don't want to drive all the way over there just to get you know, stuff that I need. Unless I really need it, then I'll drive over there. But then the odds are that I, it might not even be there when I when I drive all the way over there. You know what I mean? So it's like, and then Target's website really sucks. They don't really tell you anything. Uh, but anyways, uh, back to the painting. <laughs> Enough of my personal problems. Uh, this uh, neck piece it's a lot longer than the original uh, dinosaur. The neck, if you guys see the the bull T Rex, his neck is really short. So I had to extend the paints, make it look a little bit uh, longer. As far as the design that it has on his neck, I had to make it longer. So it, it worked out at the end, so it looks pretty good. At least I think so. My personal opinion, I think it came out okay. And um, also I know you guys noticed that since I'm, I am using the Biden, Biden Fight T-Rex, it does have a bunch of scars on the side. Which I thought would be cool, even though it doesn't have it in the original one. If I was to paint it, um, to paint those scars like you know, a nice cool color. Um, I tried painting it um, different colors, and then I figured green would be cool because when I when I painted the eyes green, it looked really cool. Like I was like, man, these eyes look cool. It it, it stands out a lot. So I was like, why not make the blood? You know the scars green it is a chaos effect theory dinosaur by the way so um why wouldn't he have green blood you know what i mean so that's what i went with and i i love the way it turned out especially against the black with the contrast against the black it looks really really cool um it makes the green really stand out a lot it makes it pop a lot and, and i enjoyed it and i really enjoyed this this paint job too it was really cool to do i wanted to leave it white like a lot of the parts I was like should I leave some of the white on there because I really like the way the white popped out too and so I was gonna do it that way but then I was like nah I'll paint it the way it's supposed to be painted and then if I decide to do it later then I'll repaint it white one just me painting the pupil which you guys will see at the end I completely erase it because I don't like how the pupil looked at the end I could have done it a little bit more realistic looking the original one does have original looking eyes like realistic eyes but i didn't like the way it turned out so anyways i can't finish this paint without the jp sign on his die uh, to close it all off jurassic park and that's gonna do it folks i think we are completely done with this repaint so without any further ado let's close it all off all right guys we are completely done with the repaint and there he is in all his glory uh the bull 
uh, Chaos Effect T-Rex. Um, as you guys can tell, I used the original Bite and Fight uh, body of him from the newer one. So there were scars. So I decided to uh, paint the scars green because I thought it left, like it popped a little bit. You know, I gave it a little bit of an accent. And plus, this is a Chaos Effect Theory dinosaur, so it won't have red blood. You know what I mean? This is a weird neon colors. But anyways, um, I thought it looked cool, like all these scars on it. And also, I wanted to point out that I left the eyes green because I originally, as you guys saw, I painted the pupil and it just looked really funky to me. I didn't like the way it looked, so I ended up taking that out. Um, there's his mouth, it's just basically purple, same color as this, and there's the rest of him. Uh, he does have a little spot, a little purple spot up there, and this is his tail. There's the top view of him. And here's the other side of it. Got the Jurassic Park logo there. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this guy. I really love the way it came out. Um, um, I've been wanting to do this guy for a while. And finally, Target had a sell on this dude. Uh, he was 15 bucks at my local Target. So I picked him up and I was like, cool, now I could finally rape paint the Bull T Rex. Or it's actually called the Mega T uh, Chaos Effect T Rex, but it's. It should have been the Bull T-Rex uh, from the original line. I just paid him like a Chaos Effect uh, theory. But he looks really, really cool right besides the female version of him. Um, this is, I think this is supposed to be the female version. Um, from what I read, I think this is a female version. And then this is the male because this is the Bull, obviously. Um, I like this one a lot better than this one as far as the paint scheme. But I really love the way it came out. And the size comparison looks pretty good too. Because this was a lot bulkier. This is a lot bigger. Like the original toys. Uh, the bull obviously was a lot bigger. Um, than the female version of it. And also I have this little guy here. Can't forget about him. But anyways. yeah, Let me know guys what you guys think in the comments down below. You guys really like this uh, little paint scheme. I love the way it came out. Honestly I love it. Um, I finally have this guy. This guy goes for like two or three hundred dollars on eBay, which is ridiculous. Also, with this guy, really expensive characters or really expensive dinosaurs on eBay. So I decided to paint them myself for fifteen bucks and twenty bucks. This was a, I bought this guy when it first came out, so that's why it was twenty bucks. So fifteen and twenty bucks, then I ended up painting them to make it look like that. It's a deal breaker for me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just paint it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below if you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Um, it doesn't really offend me. You guys could do whatever you guys choose to do. You know what I mean? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Recreating. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys do subscribe, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.